Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. The attacks in Mosul have actually begun. The United States is already conducting an air campaign war there. Uh, just started here just moments ago. I actually, Brother Rick Warren, give me a heads up here on uh, Facebook, uh, which I'm kind of like him. I'm sitting here monitoring, monitoring Twitter as, as we go here. Uh, says, Iraq, Iraqi often by ISIS, Daesh replied by Tel Afar Brigade, 92 2nd uh, Regiment north of Al Hadar Junction. Uh, this is in Mosul here. You already have images of people coming out that have been hit, killed in the attacks already. Uh, the attacks, the, the, the tweets here are going very rapid at this point here within the last two minutes as this story is breaking. Uh, coming out right now. We already know that the fuelers have headed in. Uh, let me kind of enlarge the page here for you so you guys can see this just a little bit better here. What we're seeing here, you have the uh, ISIS occupies the Mosul fight to the death according to this report right here. Uh, you can still see the United States equipment that Obama left behind for ISIS. So they do have some pretty strong equipment on their side. Uh, uh, this is, I'm, uh, I am afraid I don't agree with you while I see what senior Turkish state officials say here about the, well, that doesn't really make sense right there, but this one here, uh, people that have been killed already in this fight here. We got 14 more new results that are popping in very, very fast. It says, uh, well, nine more results now. Let's just get a little idea here what we got going on. Um, It's just, you're getting them over and over and over. The offensive to recapture Mosul has begun. Um, uh, now we got someone saying, I confirm Mosul battle not started yet. Um, breaking operation launch to retake Mosul, breaking news. This is actually from uh, Turkish news here that is stating that it has actually begun. Operation, uh, let me just get a, translation on this right here. It says Mosul operation has started here as the Shia and Sunni uh, Milai star here as the PKK KRG Turkey. The United States it's all against the against the, and it doesn't say exactly what it's against there. So according to all of this here that we're seeing breaking operation launch Turkey to retake Mosul from ISIS. Uh, we have that one there popping up. So we have quite a few of them here that are breaking right now as it, it's going on. As well, another thing I want to bring to your attention too, uh, I got a message from one Facebook friend that has uh, military sources on the ground that is saying that the United States is also preparing to make a strike on Yemen. Uh, he said that is very close at hand for the U.S. to be making a military strike on Yemen. Uh, of course, John Kerry was saying that there were two uh, Americans uh, that were released by the Houthis today. Uh, but we did see the F-16s that have been placed right across the, the water there uh, uh, from Yemen there, uh, just there on the African side there. So uh, we're hearing that there, that there is plans for striking Yemen as well. And again, as like I said, Diego Garcia, heavy presence right there. And uh, let me go back here to Brother Warren here, what he had put here for me here. Um, Russia warship set to sail through English Channel amid tensions. Uh, that's another thing that's going on. This is by Brother Rick Warren has posted this up here for me there. Uh, but anyway, getting back over here. We'll be updating you as it breaks on out, guys. Uh, um, just a lot of things happening. As I said, Mosul is now 34 more tweets coming out. They are now, the war's kicked out. They're going to take this area back. And keep in mind, Nahum, the prophecy in Nahum. Let me grab a Bible here real quick just to kind of remind you. Mosul, by the way, is the ancient biblical city, as we know, called Nineveh. Uh, so if you want to know anything about this right here, it says in chapter 2, a lot of prophecies have said about Nineveh here. Uh, but one of them says, And it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh is laid waste who will bemoan her? Uh, hence shall I seek comforters for thee. Wow, very, very tough right there. Another place in here also says, but uh, verse 8 in chapter 2, but Nineveh is old like a pool of water, yet they shall flee away. Stand, stand, shall they cry, but none shall look back. 
Take ye spoil of silver and spoil of gold, for there is no end of the store of glory out of all the pleasant furniture. She is empty and void and waste, and the heart melteth, and the knees smite together, and much pain is in all the loins, and the faces of them all that gather blackness. Where is the dwelling of the lions and the feeding places? Now, as we see, prophecy coming to pass right before our eyes. And the thing was, we saw the part of the looting and the gold and the silver and all these things, but I hadn't seen anywhere yet where they had taken away um, or where they had flee, fled from this city. Well, this is what will bring about the fleeing process is what we're seeing right now. Uh, here's another right here about Mosul. It says, Breaking News Operation Mosul Deliverance. That's the name of the, uh, the, the, the campaign. Iraq Artillery and USA Bombardment Bombard Targets. As you can see right there uh, as they get ready to make the battle here for Mosul. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.